Hello everybody, what is going on? It's gonna be my Resident Evil Code Veronica playthrough. Uh we still have remake to come. But um I gotta record part one tonight because I wanna be on a daily schedule posting a video per day. So yes, yeah, so let's start right away. This is the PS3 HD remastered version that came with Resident Evil 4. Resident so yeah, I will be quiet now because it's gonna be a cutscene straight away. Yay! The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Three months later. Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. <laughs> Perfect. 
perfect. Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. The troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Alrighty, so take note of that uh, medicine down there. Yeah, square to pick up item. I'm telling you guys, I am not familiar with these controls at all right now. Okay. Um, I remember some parts of the game. Like I, I remember where to go and all that stuff, but these controls are just like ah, uh, sluggish kind of to me. Like I've been playing a lot of Crash Bandicoot One. See, so, yeah, I'm used to using the d-pad and all that and uh... can you use the d-pad? you can alright but like to jump it's like eight and like it's just weird to <laughs> explain but um... yeah so just to like say something this isn't my favorite resident evil no no as i stated this is probably one of my least favorites I'm not saying it's a bad game at all i'm just saying uh... i really don't like this game like nah, i don't like hate it hate it i could play it but if you want to get the rocket launcher, I wouldn't say it's terrible, because I actually got it on my other account. I disabled. I forgot to disable uh, display messages, which I, uh, I apologize, by the way. But yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Uh, so, if you get lucky, you could dodge all zombies here, which I'm probably not going to be able to. But, if you are, congrats. Ah, uh, but yeah. Um, uh, there's nothing to say here. Uh, naked zombies. Don't. Ah, uh, you can just can't kill them. Do not kill these zombies unless you can't get through them. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I am, uh. I. Uh, I take quite a few hits in this game. Sometimes it's not even enough herbs to, but at the end of the game, I'm not so I'm not really worried about the blood and the game play through. Like I tell you guys, every time I do this live, I do not. Um, so if you get lucky, you can dodge both of them like that. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, ten, nine times out of ten, you're gonna get hit. So yeah, that that was a good dodge. That was a good dodge. But we got another cutscene. So yeah. Sorry about that little misunderstanding, but I thought you were another one of those mar- Shut up! Make one wrong move and I'll shoot! Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. Well, once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. That was Steve Burnside. I hate him in this game. Uh, he's not my favorite character by all means at all. Maybe my least favorite. Uh, no. It's gonna have to go to somebody later in this game. But, 
yeah, so this is Code Veronica. Um, it's a decent Resident Evil game, but I think it was kind of rushed because 3 came out literally like maybe a month before this game. I think it was around a month. Um, in this game, the knife is really awesome, not gonna lie. But I might take a hit in here. You never know. I gotta remember how to attack because uh, I remember in a uh, remake, it's L and R1. Yeah, um, I'm gonna get grabbed there because I. <laughs> Oh, to attack right there. So grab this ammo, then go to that room right to your right. If you do it fast enough, you can easily get out of there without taking a hit. So it's a uh, R1 and square. Might not be S3. So <clears throat> if you don't want to get hit a lot, pull out the pistol right here. But go over here first. Uh, to get that ammo. Um, but I really don't like wasting a lot of ammo earlier in the game, but for this guy, I really don't want to take a lot of damage, so you just want to shoot him down. Uh, so just hurry up. Pick up the guns. Come on, pick up the guns, please. Thank you. Alrighty. Then run past. Alrighty. So now I'm gonna take out the knife because if you knife towards the zombies' feet, they fall down literally like right away. So I'm gonna try to do that with this guy over here. No. As I said, I'm probably gonna take quite a few hits, but I'm not worried about it. Ah, uh, man, caution. No, so okay, we're fine. So we're doing really awesome right here, and we're getting, we're about to be introduced to the easiest uh, enemy in this game, which is surprising because they're like terrible in remake. Just because I said that, I bet you guys know who they are. But um, I hate uh, those things in remake. They're like, ugh, in this game, they're a piece of cake. But yeah, so now we're just uh, going around, rocking around the Christmas tree. <laughs> Sorry, I won't, I won't sing that. So, here, I don't want to take a hit, but, because I don't need these for, uh, I don't need these for a lot of the game, so I'm not worried about wasting the ammo, because I use it. I'm usually up to, like, I guess should, I should be down, like, 80%, A7. I forgot I can get this out of my inventory. Alrighty. So yeah, sorry for background noise again. <laughs> I do not live by myself, unfortunately. Please I wish I did. Or the somebody else. I don't like living with a bunch of people, but I do. So yeah, uh, this. Leave all of your metal metallic objects in here, so like your gun, knife, stuff like this. Herbs don't count as metallic items, so yeah. Uh, this game's ranking system. I, I I did it once. I I'll probably do it again for this channel. But this game's ranking system is really difficult. You cannot save once. Only when it makes you, because like that's technically disc two if you're playing on the Dreamcast GameCube or something like that. Um, that's the only time you could save, and it counts as zero zero save, so you cannot have one save. You cannot use any first aid sprays. Please deposit any uh, items you have in the Don't do it. I did just go in the door because there's some else metal we need to put back in there. We uh, I've got cutscene. Cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. 
Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. So you can tell Steve has some issues. What was that all about? <laughs> Claire said it perfectly. But um, yeah, you could tell Steve has some issues. But yeah, grab this emblem out of here. And let's get out of here. So, yeah. Oh, wait. I always forget that part. Do not leave that room yet. Because we if you if you forget to go do this one more th this one thing, you're going to just face palm. Especially in a speed run that pissed me off when I did that one time. Turn on the power. Because you need that. Uh now we can leave. By all means this game is not a speed run, because I'm pretty familiar, but even if I do the Please best like under four hours, um I'll still go like a C or D or an F. <laughs> Probably an F. Oh my god. Okay. So yeah. Not really worried about the ranking system. Now, all you need to take with you right now, take your lighter, um, is this. We'll be back for the handgun later, but that's all we need is that for right now. <sighs> So you can actually get screwed over right here, but once you turn on the power, turn this on. You can see more zombies over here. If you can do this, uh, if you can do this right, you can uh, kill all of them. Or not do it all. I don't want to take a hit, but I'm trying to. Blow. There we go. I was trying to blow up that barrel. Again, I do not care about wasting ammo for this gun because we're never going to use this again down to 73%, but it doesn't matter. Because I barely use that gun after we leave the first area of the game, which is actually very soon. See, I'm not, I really don't care about wasting ammo at all. It's not really an issue. Yeah, those things with the dogs which are a piece of cake in this game, run past and kill them. Kill them with a the knife, easy. I just didn't grab the knife. Really easy in this game. Yeah, we're just gonna run straight forward. Uh, zombies are spawned here by, uh, by the way now. So. You can dodge literally every zombie in here if you want, but the way back is going to be hell. So, um, so yeah, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start shooting my way. Remember, these zombies respawn. So, don't kill them unless you want to, and that was very sloppy of me. Run into the fire, use this extinguisher. And we got the briefcase. Um, you can run past this guy. Down to 60%, that's good now. Okay. Took one hit, not that bad. I'm actually uh, pretty astonished that I'm still in a uh, fine at this point of the game. I can barely see because um, I don't know if uh, uh, the recording shows that that was like really dark. Okay, dogs. So now we're just running back. That's gonna put me in caution, I know, but... Oh. 
Come on. Oh, okay, we got another one pissed. But yeah. It's almost it for this part, guys. Notice how I said almost. Not quite. Yet. Please deposit any metallic, any metallic items, items in the security, in the security box. box. Anyway, so you don't need to grab the handgun yet. Um. I would recommend grabbing the fire extinguisher after this part. Uh, because you go back here about 9 times out of 10. Turn the light, I reckon. 9 times out of 10, I forget about um, <laughs> it, so I usually take it with me. I forgot to press the button, wasting so much time. Alright, so all these zombies are going to break in here if you don't do the following. Okay? So what you want to do is get your eagle medal, get your eagle medal, close the doors, and then do whatever you have to do. So you want to put the eagle medal in right there? And then put the T1 thing digger right here. That should make a out thing with a eagle emblem, and that should be like a duplicate for that. For now, we can carry it through the metal detector. So this is it for the first part, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. So we're just gonna end this off here, and have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you for watching.